Hello cookbook friend and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie and I'm very excited to check out the Ultimate Final Fantasy 14 cookbook. I actually did cook out of this uh, cookbook last weekend. I did their fish and chips and it was actually quite good. I haven't had fish and chips in a really long time. I'm gluten free. It wasn't a gluten free recipe, but I did my own variation on it and it was very good. I used to also play this game religiously and I miss it. I always think about it. So I'll probably end up going back and playing this once I get through this cookbook because I miss it. Um, so this is really cool. I'm a huge Final Fantasy geek and I'm just looking forward to this. So, ooh, beautiful. I love maps. This is awesome. So we have really cute, really fun photos. I love seeing these recipes come to life. These are things that you would make from the game if you were in that profession. And I, I think they've done a really good job being able to make that a real thing that we can actually do. So here's the table of contents. We got breakfast, appetizers, breads. There's soups and stews, main dishes, sides. Then we go into desserts and drinks. And this is cool because the drinks we have like a uh, X potion. There's like, you know, ex espresso con pana, high elixirs. So lots of cool stuff in here. Um, so let's move forward. I love the illustrations through here. They're really cute. Uh, we have the different location details. So if you want extra Final Fantasy 14 knowledge, you can actually get that in here which is cool. I, that's not something I really did when I was playing. So I like that we can actually f see all of this cool stuff. So uh, we have an ingredient guide as well. If these are, if there's some ingredients in here that you're not familiar with, for instance, like um, abirage, I've not seen before. I could, you know, I, I, I would imagine from previous experience, it sounds like a Japanese thing. Uh, we've got things like unagi, nori, there's uh, there's this thing called Joshin, Joshinko. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of cool information here about ingredients you might be using throughout this book. So breakfast. Wow, already those waffles right here look amazing. Okay, we have almond cream croissants. There's a dodo omelet, and I love these. I've never made it for breakfast. I would make it for dinner, <laughs> but these are really good. Um, farmer's breakfast. Oh, I think I'm drooling. Lemon waffle. Okay, that looks amazing. So you've got a lemon curd and your waffle. Oh, I might have to make this for this weekend. Um, we've got royal eggs. So let's move on to some of the other stuff. Futomaki roll. This looks so good. So one thing to note, I'll break it down for you guys. We have at the very, very top here, above the actual title, exactly where the, this uh, recipe comes from in the Final Fantasy world. So this comes from Hingashi. We have uh, just kind of like a little blurb about the recipe itself. Then we have in here, in this light pink area, we've got difficulty. So this recipe is hard. Um, prep time, this is about an hour, then the cook time, we have the yield, and then we also have like dietary notes, so this is dairy free, but it's got fish. So, and then we have equipment that you're going to need. I kind of like that, that they've given you equipment that you're going to want. Um, and then we have, here's everything broken down in each section, so the sushi rice, the tama, tamagoyaki these seasoned shiitake mushrooms, and all of the ingredients listed for each part. And then we have all the instructions on the side. So that's really cool. I think a lot of these recipes do come with a photo, which is very awesome, if not every single one. So yeah, that's super cool. Um, we have different tips throughout, and they look like little quest, um, the little quest exclamation marks, which is cute. So we have, it is very important the layer of rice is thin. Add too much and the roll will, will break. So we have like different tips for recipes that need it. So that's super cool. I really appreciate it. Popote, popoto salad. 
sandwich basket. I've never seen. Oh my God, look at how many sandwich sandwiches there are. This is so cool. This would be so much fun. This has seven sandwiches. This would be really fun to, you know, if you go on hikes and stuff. Very cool. Here's a Ishgardian muffin. And this looks awesome. This is a obviously like an English muffin, but oh, beautiful. Walnut bread. Let's go to main dishes. And this is actually, this is the uh, dish that we made, the fish and chips. And it was excellent. Uh, bon Chao, I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. Um, Boscaiola, again, so sorry. But this looks really tasty. Creamy salmon pasta, ooh, yum. And then we have this beautiful pizza. Whoa, this looks like a legit pizza. Different sides. So you can mix and match whatever you want. This is Chow Wayne Mushi. This looks really pretty. I'm not, I've never seen this before. And it, I mean, it just looks very elegant. This is cheese risotto. Oh, this looks so good. Imam Bayildi. Ooh, this is like a stuffed eggplant. So there's a lot of, even like my fish and chips recipe, it was, the flavors were different. They didn't use stereotypical seasonings, like things were just little adjustments to make it its very own unique recipe. And I really like that. So even like we have these mashed potatoes, but they use uh, cottage cheese. I've never even thought about using cottage cheese before, but that's probably pretty good. So I love this cookbook for all of the rant, you know, the it's got very obviously familiar recipes if you're a Final Fantasy geek and, you know, things that you would ordinarily make, but a little bit of a twist to make it its own cookbook. So it's actually worth checking it out because it's not just stereotypical stuff we see. Um, so I would highly recommend this cookbook. Let's check out a few other things. So this is the dessert apple strudel. It looks really good. I love the flaky crust. Papanasi. Yum. Oh, this looks so, so good. Um, we have, let's see, I, I want to check out the drinks because it's adorable. And it's cool because the drinks also have photos too. And you see the cute little creatures like these are things you would actually find in the wild in Final Fantasy. So we have a high elixir. It also says, too, like, if it's got alcohol or not, which is very nice. So if you've got, you know, younger kids or teenagers that love cooking and Final Fantasy, this would be a really fun book. Um, so that's cool. So we've got a hot chocolate here. This looks super tasty. And it's vegetarian. Very cool. Um, we've got Ishgardian tea, lemonade. There's all kinds of cool stuff. Matcha, mold tea. So yeah, this cookbook is really fun. I really enjoy it. And the fact that I already made a, a recipe through in, in this cookbook and it was really good and it was super successful and easy kind of tells me a lot. This is a very awesome cookbook to check out if you love Final Fantasy XIV or you want to try various different, I guess, like alterations of pretty standard recipes. So it's very cool. Um, if you guys want more cookbook content, including nerdy cookbooks, come check out our website. We also have a Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest where we have all kinds of cook cookbooks there. Um, we also do cookbook weekly roundups on our podcast. So definitely check us out on all of those platforms. We'd love to hear from you. Make sure to subscribe and like and comment down below. If there's something you want us to look at, let us know because we love to look at cookbooks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you guys next time.